But uh, another story coming out of India, the country has tested the Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile. Pundits say that the missile finally gives India the credibility and the capability to deter China. Five, four, three, two, one, now. Textbook launch from Wheeler Island off the Odisha coast and India flagged off a new page in its march to a credible strategic missile capability. The Agni-5 launch is a major achievement for India, both in terms of uh, technologies and in terms of uh, military might. It is a bold statement of India's strength for peace. India has been a peaceful country, we are a peaceful country, and we want to work for establishing peace in the region. But as you know, peace is uh, possible only when you are strong. While the final launch, flight and range parameters of the Agni-5 will be disclosed later, it appears the 50-ton solid fuel three-stage missile is good to go for further testing by the Strategic Forces Command. This will be followed by its formal induction. The Agni-5 signals the slow transformation of India's strategic deterrence vis-à-vis -vis China. It has a range of nearly 6,000 kilometers, which means China's nuclear installations in Xinjiang can be targeted. Also Beijing. More crucially, the missile can cripple China's industrial heartland along its eastern seaboard, once armed with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles India has the luxury of. The Indian government is upbeat. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar says, and I quote, I congratulate DRDO scientists for their successful test of Agni-5 missile and further strengthening of India's defence capabilities, unquote. It's a very major weapon system. You see, if you have to have uh, deterrence uh, for the Chinese as well as the Pakistanis, you should be able to cover their premium targets uh, just as they are able to or at least the Chinese are fully able to cover our targets. Agni-5 gives us that kind of a capability, and it, hence it should serve as a higher degree of deterrence to the Chinese. China's medium and long-range missiles have long targeted India. In that sense, while the Agni-5 is still work in progress, it signals the restoration of some balance in the deterrence mix. Bureau Report, Beyond. Strategic expert Brahma Chelani joins us from Berlin to talk more about the Agni-5. Mr. Chelani, thanks so much for joining us here on Your World tonight. How far, in your opinion, does this test actually give India credible deterrence against China? There was a deficiency in India's posture, minimum credible deterrence. Minimum deterrence to be effective has to be credible. And India's posture is minimum but credible deterrence. But India did not have the capability to reach every nook and corner of China, which is its primary challenge. Agni-5 plugs that deficiency. So it's a very important step, a step that gives India confidence, <clears throat> but more importantly, it makes India's deterrent posture credible. All right, Mr. Chalani, we've seen China, you know, show heft to the United States very recently. They've also asked uh, India not to act like a spoiled kid. When you look at that, all those uh, factors, keeping in mind today's Agni-5 test, do you think China will be deterred? Definitely. China <laughs> likes to take on weaker adversaries and weaker neighbors. For example, in 2012, just four years ago, they captured the Scarborough Shoal from the Philippines. Philippines is a weak and vulnerable nation. China will not mess with a strong rival. If India has the political will and the military capability, the Chinese aggressive designs against India will also pause. At the moment, the Chinese are trying to up the ante against India. They see India's political weak, uh, political will uh, quite weak, and they saw gaps in India's military preparedness. 
But as India becomes more confident and its capability also becomes stronger, the Chinese will think twice before messing with India. Okay, fair enough. China, on the other hand, as you're speaking, uh, is known to be building an anti-ballistic missile defense and also has anti-satellite satellite capability. Pardon me. How does this impact India, in your opinion? First, let's be clear. Ballistic missiles are only for deterrence. They are not for war fighting. In modern warfare, cruise missiles play a central role. They are key instruments of war, war, of war fighting. Unfortunately, India has still to plug its weaknesses on the cruise missile front. Just recently, India tested a cruise missile and the test failed miserably. So we need to be careful that while Agni-5 is a very important step to make India's nuclear deterrent posture credible, all right, uh, we seem to be losing our audio with uh, Mr. Brahma Chellani. We will try and re-establish connection with him shortly. But uh, just to give you an idea a little bit more about Agni-5, it is India's ICBM. Uh, it is a three-stage solid fuel missile tested in 2012, 2013 and 2015. It's billed as India's deterrent to China's medium and long-range missiles and can be equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MIRV. These can carry multiple warheads for different targets. India joined the United States, Russia, the United Kingdom, France and China, who all have ICBM capabilities. Let's try and uh, re-establish contact with Mr. Chelani. Uh, Mr. Chelani, if you can hear me here in the studio, if I can ask you to continue, you were talking about how Agni-5 is an important factor for India, but really in terms of the cruise missile, there is still work to be done. Focus on improving its missile defense and the capability. In any kind of war scenario, Cruise missiles have to play a crucial role. India is still in the capability at a nascent stage. So we should rest on our laurels. I mean, five test launch is a pivotal step. But now we need to focus on two things. One, improving our cruise missile capability. And two, building ICBMs. If you look at right. the permanent members of the Security Council, they all have ICBMs. In fact, there are only five countries in the world that have ICBMs. And all five are permanent members of the UN Security Council. Are the short of ICBM right. range. So if you have latent capability to the ICBMs, so we need to do right. that because Mr. Chilani, unfortunately, we are losing your audio again, but uh, we still thank you for joining us here on the show and sharing your thoughts on the Agni-5 uh, test that India did conduct today off the Wheeler Island. Let's uh, take a break on that note. We'll continue our uh, breakdown of the day's top stories on the other side. Stay with me on.